Hi everybody, Sun Chief here. Today we're looking at mathematical typeset. So I'll put some examples on the screen here. I'm going to highlight with a magnifying glass. Standard sets of numbers. So there on the top there, the R's. You've got real numbers. So that one there is real number. That's your positive real numbers. You could change that to a minus and uh, have negative real numbers. Numbers in dimension two. So that's numbers on the plane. And that's real numbers within the infinite dimension. So the infinity symbol on there. So I'll show you how to type that in. Then on the next level you see there we've got Q. Now that's for your rational numbers. So I've got Q, standard Q, so that's all rational numbers. Then Q with a star or asterisk, whichever one you want to call it. That's your rational numbers which are non-zero. And then Q plus, and then that's for your positive rational numbers. Next line, I've got the Z's, so that's for integers. So that's first one is standard integers. Z with an asterisk, that's for all your uh, integers which are non-zero. Zn, now that's for modulo um, arithmetic. So Z modulo n, so any number you want to put in there. And I've got an example here, Z8, so it's all integers modulo 8. So it's basically numbers from 0 to 7 inclusive. Then here I've got nz followed by a 7z. Now this is for integer multiples. So multiples of an integer. So you could pick any integer. For example, you could have, well here I've picked 7. So all integers of multiple 7. So you could have 7, 14, 21, la 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 la, and so on and so on. And even minus 7, minus 14 and so on. That's that one. Next one is the N. That's just natural numbers. Next I've got the C and then I've got complex and then complex numbers which are non-zero. So always the asterisk is for non-zero. I've got some other examples of typeset that you can get in LaTeX. Um, I'll show you how to type these in in a little while. So let's have a look at the typeset in the, in the text works. So here I've got uh, set up a document loads of packages there which I always like to use and then here I've got the main four fonts which you might want to uh, use for some of the extra uh, fonts so use package math rsfs use package px fonts use package tx fonts and use package ds font that's no s in that one and I've also got some packages here which do uh, am symbol ams symbol and AMS math, there's also got some uh, symbols in there, and GEN sim, which is GENSYMB, that's gen symbol. So that's all the ones I've got in there. I've set up my page, which I've shown you before on the things. Just look, check out my old videos, you'll see how to do that. And here we come to the typing for where I can show you how to uh, type that in. So if you go straight to the top, I've got uh, so I've written standard sets of numbers. And then a dollar sign. So I've chosen to do that today to go into a mathematical uh, typeset. So to do all these, you'll need to be in mathematical typeset. So then you see I've done all that in the mathematical typeset there. Closed it with this dollar sign here. Then I've written other mathematical typesets. Then opened up another mathematical typeset to show you some more. So you'll see the top line there. It's all math BB. So backslash math BB. And then in curly braces, I've put the R. So that's for all your real numbers. That's on that one there. And then you'll notice here I've put the symbol there to go uh, an indice. So they basically will show you real number indice plus. Basically all that's showing is if I go back to the print the output, that's basically just showing as the R plus. So that's real numbers positive. And same here, real numbers two. It's not real numbers to the power of two. It's just real numbers in the plane. And an R, it's not real numbers to the power of infinity, it's just real numbers in an infinite plane of infinite dimension, even. So there you see how I've typed that in. So the last one there, so I've got math BB, R in curly braces, the indice uh, for typing in LaTeX, which is uh, you'll find above the six, and then backslash infty, I N F T Y, that's what the infinity. And it's pretty repetitive here for the rest of the numbers. So Q for the rational numbers. So instead of typing the R, I've just typed Q. So it's math BBQ. Same here. 
to the power of asterisk. That's just to get you the non-zero uh, rational numbers. And then this one here, math BB Q to the power of positive. So that's just your positive irrational numbers. And I've done a similar thing here with the integers. So I've got the Z, which is the first one, which is here. Then math BB Z to the power of asterisk. Then this one here with an underscore. So here you'll see underscore. So for underscore, um, you've got your uh, subscript mark, which you'll get in uh, for LaTeX, which is in this one here, and then N. So this will give me subscript N. So I'll just highlight that for you there. So that's subscript M. So I'll show you where that is here. That's this one here. So integers subscript M. So Z modulo language N. So here I've done it with an eight. So I'll show you how I did it with an eight. Just change the N to an eight. So it's that one there. <clears throat> and then the uh, multiple integers I've got N and the seven. You just basically just type that in as you would normally before your math symbol. And that's how you do that. And then natural numbers is just an N with the math BB and complex numbers is with the C math BB. So this one here you see I've got indice asterisk and that's how we get the complex numbers which are non-zero. There's a few other interesting typesets I'm just going to show you today. So just a, a variation on the math BB you've got math cal A, B, C, D, F. So there's the example of those letters which is this top line here. It's quite a nice little uh, typeset that one. Let's just show you a few more letters. Let's put a few more letters in there so you can see G, H, I, J, K, L. Let's try lowercase. Let's see what happens. <clears throat> okay, so this is how we get some of the different symbols on the on the screen there. That's when you do your lowercase. Now if I change those to uppercase, now you'll see instead of going from the standard uh, symbols here we can just press play there it's obviously a nice way of finding some symbols I mean the up and down arrow there is a nice symbol to use there we go so some more examples of some letters then the second letter uh, second uh, level we've got these um, really like color nice examples of uh, writing there let's just show you the symbols for that so that's math SCR so math script so backslash math SCR A B C D E F and some examples in here that's what that one is there then the next two here R Q Z N C as you see they're very similar to our math BB so I'll just show you how we got those ones so this one is a variant on the math BB that's the third one down so that's this one so that's a variant that's a slightly more bolder type that's quite nice to use. Uh, the Q has got a nice little line inside. That's nice old fashioned English writing. And then on the bottom line, we've got Math DS with also the symbols for mathematical typeset RQZNC. And then that's that one here RQZNC. Okay.